all right so in the pre cambrian era we had seen that earth in a terrestrial part so they were you know split into two on the half sac split agirutte on the northern hemisphere we had laurasia on the southern hemisphere we had gondwana land so india was part of gondwana okay in between laurasia and gondwana there was a huge sea which was named as tethys sea okay and uh, we also saw okay this is your india okay peninsular india ante en karkoltivi this particular peninsular india so now we know the part of india anta in gondwana times al nortidivi rodinia okay there was a huge uh, landmass which was called as rodinia idukku munche okay so in the pre cambrian era before this okay so idukku munche rodinia anu antadral nortivi a rodinia split aadaga okay we had seen that there were three proto continents which actually collided in order to form your actual you know peninsular india okay the segments are aravalli dharwad and singhu ee ondu mooru proto continent gal collide aadaga create agidde namma peninsular india therefore at the part where they have collided there were rift valleys there were rivers which flew in this particular rift valley yavya yava nadigalanna nortivi the you know the points or the places where they actually collided idana naavu liniments anta karkoltivi at this liniments there were rivers which flew once upon a time hagadre geological history alli the question is asked in order to arrange the rivers according to their geological history and the list of rivers ana kotre first you have to tell that you know at the peninsular india the creation alli naavu nodu antadu narmada son godavari right and the remnants so remnants antandaga aladu ulidu hogiruvantaha mikkuludantaha bhagalu remnants anta karkoltivi okay remnants yavudu yadu aravali okay the dharwad plateau the singhu plateau okay so evo these were the remnants or the remainings of the old land idukku munche iddantadu namma peninsular india form aglikku iddantaha adukku munche iddantaha continental parts making sense so therefore if you have to find the oldest rocks say suppose uh, in your peninsular india if you have to find the oldest of the rocks on that they they excavated in uh, you know dharwad kelirthira karnataka history they would have told oldest of the rocks pre cambrian era age belong adanta oldest of the rocks as old as you know 2.5 billion years okay ashtu halaya rock galannu innu kelavu bhagadalli dharwadina kelavu bhagadalli namage sigutte anantadu okay so dharwad plateau ina kelavu bhaga dharwad is not you know when i am talking about dharwad do not consider a district of karnataka the entire you know continental plate iddanta hesrudu making sense okay moving ahead pre cambrian era alli at the geosynclines okay now the concept of geosyncline bage maatadbekagutte let me ask what do you mean by geosyncline movement of plates okay see let me tell you whenever two plates are converging okay the movement between two of the continental plates or tectonic you know tectonic plates na you know movement hege ida anantadadre they are converging also they had a you know madhyadalli ondu sea origin athwa ocean origin enadru irabahudagittu akasmat irlilla antandiddidru because of the convergence the gradient will somewhat look like this howdala gradient hege irutte will be like this okay so illi ee ondu bhagadalli haritiruvantaha consider this to be a you know tectonic plate and this to be other tectonic plate and how is their movement now converging converge aagutade converge aagutiddaga illi ee ondu bhagada mele yavade nadigal haritiddrunu kuda they will be depositing lot of terrigenous deposit galanna tagaman tagaman illi load maadidirtave and because of this the load will now be increasing eventually with millions of year passing ondu converge aagtirutte the space between them is getting narrower and narrower with you know continuation in the convergence the space between them is narrowing down okay and the terrigenous deposits are also increasing so load en aagtide increase aagtane ide therefore when the convergence occur okay what is geosyncline geosyncline is the you know process where two of the continental plates are converging with the increase in the terrigenous deposit therefore the when they, whenever there is a fold because of the continental convergence okay the fold will also carry within itself the marine origin terrigenous deposits which were folded along the syncline okay so whenever there is a fold whatever the marine origin or the terrigenous deposits which were once brought will now be folded along so therefore this fold will now have 
ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಅ ಟೈಮ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮೆರೀನ್ ಒರಿಜಿನ್ ಇದ್ದಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಫ್ಯೂ ಏನೋ ಫಾಸಲ್ ರಿಮೈನೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ರೆಮಿನೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಲಿ ಅಥವಾ ಟೆರಿಜಿನಿಯಸ್ ಡೆಪಾಸಿಟ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಆಗಿರ್ಲಿ ಇದು ತನ್ನ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಏನೋ ಅಪ್ಲಿಫ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿರುತ್ತೆ ಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಮೌಂಟನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಂಟೈಯರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ನ ನಾವು ಜಿಯೋಸಿಂಕ್ಲೈನ್ ಅಂತ ಕರ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದ ಜಿಯೋಸಿಂಕ್ಲೈನ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಮಾರ್ಜಿನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರೋಟೋ ಕಾಂಟಿನೆಂಟ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಅಟ್ ದ ಮಾರ್ಜಿನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರೋಟೋ ಕಾಂಟಿನೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಜಿಯೋಸಿಂಕ್ಲೈನ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಹೌದಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಅಟ್ ದ ಮಾರ್ಜಿನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಜಿಯೋಸಿಂಕ್ಲೈನ್ ವಿ ಸೀ ದ ಓಕೆ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಅರಾವಲೀಸ್ ದ ವಿಂಧ್ಯಾಸ್ ದ ಸತ್ಪುರಾಸ್ ದ ಈಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ಘಾಟ್ಸ್ okay these are your bijavel mountains okay these mountains were formed okay because of the upliftment of the terrigenous deposits okay which were formed during the convergence of the plates which were uplifted along the are you now a uh, one fold mountain in a jothe uplift aadaga these are your you now oldest of the ಏನಂತ ಕರ್ಕೋಬಹುದು ಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಓಲ್ಡೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಈಗ ಇದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತಾನು ಕರ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತಾನು ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಅಹೆಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಅರಾವಳಿ ವಿಂದ್ಯ ಸತ್ಪುರಾಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ದ ಬಿಜಾವಲ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ಘಾಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಇನ್ ಗೋಂದ್ವಾನ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಓಕೆ in the gondwana time okay there was reactivation of narmada son godavari liniment okay we have to talk about the reactivation of narmada son and godavari liniment where the rifting of mahanadi and damodar valley was seen see whenever we talk about rift valleys okay whenever we talk about rift valley remember uh, carboniferous era or carboniferous sorry carboniferous period okay where the formation of first occurrence of coal in india was seen from there example your chota nagpur okay the area of chota nagpur has multiple coal fields in it coal mines in delhi what is the reason anantha dadre there was rifting which occurred in this area making sense the formation of your now block mountains the rifting the difference between you know a land okay one the melgade ulkalate which is called as your horst and the, you know the low lying plain is called as graben so ee reethi adantaha rifting aadaga whenever there is even a smallest change in a given liniment or elli ee ondu proto continent galu juncture meet agidyo even if there is a smallest of energy which is releasing definitely it will call uh, you know cause a widespread destruction in and around the area earthquake impact making sense and that will definitely create the rift valleys okay aa ondu rifting inda create aadantaha further eradu nadigalu yavudu anantadadre ondu mahanadi inondu damodar is it okay so the first three rivers that we had to talk about was narmada son and godavari which were the result of the conjuncture or the convergence of through of your to, you know three of your proto continents the aravallis singhbhum as well as the dharwad plateau okay and further with the reactivation of the liniments there were rifting which was seen okay rifting anna namu nortivi the rifting caused further two more eradu nadigalanna navu a rift valley alli hariyadanna gamanisthivi the two more rivers that we see here are damodar as well as mahanadi damodar mattu mahanadi nadigalanna navu gamanisthivi which also led to submergence of the forest therefore formation of your coal fields ಓಕೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿದ್ದಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸಬ್ಮರ್ಜ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದ ಕಾರಣ ಓಕೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರಿಫ್ಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರಿಫ್ಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಯು ನೋ ಫಾಲ್ಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಟ್ರಿಗರ್ಡ್ ದ ವೈಡ್ ಒಂದು ಸ್ಕೇಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆದಂತಹ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಂದ ಏನಾಗತ್ತೆ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಲೈಫ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಇದ್ದಂತಹ ಲೈಫ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಏನಾಗತ್ತೆ ವಿಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಲೇಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ಲೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಫಾರ್ಸಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ಸಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಇಂದ ಏನಾಗತ್ತೆ ಕೋಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ okay that is why we see a lot of coal mines in and around your okay damodar mahanadi asutu muttu nimage bahalashtu coal field galu sigutte this is the you know proof that once upon a time definitely there would have been a huge scale athwa large scale ina ondu earthquake release of energy ili kandita agide that is why the most uh, available abundant ondu amount of coal nimage ee ondu region ali sigutte anantha okay cross verification inda moving ahead so this is your damodar and mahanadi rift valley where your two of the rivers flow 
okay and again we also talk about the faulting along the western peninsula idukku munche namma western borders anna naavu nodontadadre as you can see here this dotted line represent our actual available land border ಓಕೆ ಇದಕ್ಕೂ ಮುಂಚೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಭಾರತದಲ್ಲಿ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಇದ್ದಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಏನಿತ್ ಎಷ್ಟಿತ್ತು ಅನ್ನೋಂಥದ್ದಾದ್ರೆ ಟಿಲ್ ಹಿಯೋರ್ ಬಟ್ ನಾವು ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಬ್ಮರ್ಚ್ಡ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಇದು ಇದಾಗ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೂ ಮುಂಚೆ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಸಬ್ಮರ್ಜೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಗ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ದ ವೆಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಪೆನಿನ್ಸುಲಾರ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾದ ವೆಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಾರ್ಡರ್ ವಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಡೇ ಕೋಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಸಿ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡೆಡ್ ಮಚ್ ವೆಸ್ಟ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ನ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಗೆ ಇದು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಫಾಲ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಒಂದು ಫಾಲ್ಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಆಯ್ತಂತೆ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ಫಾಲ್ಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾಲ್ಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಅ ಫ್ರಾಕ್ಚರ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅ ಫ್ರಾಕ್ಚರ್ ಅ ಕ್ರಾಕ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೆವಲಪಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಔಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒಂದು ಕೋಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಪೂರ ಒಂದು ಫಾಲ್ಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಅಥವಾ ಒಂದು ಫ್ರಾಕ್ಚರ್ ಅನ್ನ ನಾವು ಗಮನಿಸ್ತೀವಿ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದ ವೆಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ಎಡ್ಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಅರ್ ಪೆನಿನ್ಸುಲಾರ್ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಫ್ರಾಕ್ಚರ್ ಆರ್ ಅ ಫಾಲ್ಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಕ್ರಾಕ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಒಂದು ದೊಡ್ಡ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಲ್ಲಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಂತದಾದ್ರೆ ವಿತ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಲೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಈವನ್ ಅ ಸ್ಮಾಲೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ಕ್ವೇಕ್ ಅಥವಾ ಸೇ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಈ ಒಂದು ನಾವೇನು ಪೆನಿನ್ಸುಲಾರ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಅಂತ ಕರ್ಕೊಳ್ತಿದ್ದೀವಿ ದಿಸ್ ಪೆನಿನ್ಸುಲಾರ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಓಕೆ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಹಿಮಾಲಯಾಸ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಈ ಒಂದು ಕನ್ವರ್ಜೆನ್ಸ್ ಯಾವಾಗ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ವುಡ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ನೋ ಗಿವನ್ ರೈಸ್ ಟು ಅ ಟ್ರಿಗರ್ ಅಥವಾ ಒಂದು ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಷನ್ಗೆ ಇದು ಅಣು ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರುತ್ತೆ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕೊಲೀಜನ್ ಆರ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಜೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಯುರೇಷನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ದ ಇಂಡೋ ಆಸ್ಟ್ರೇಲಿಯನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ಲಿ ದ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಜ್ ಅಗೇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಯುರೇಷಿಯನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಯುರೇಷಿಯನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ಗೆ ಕನ್ವರ್ಜ್ ಆದಾಗ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಕರ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಮೂತ್ ವೇ ಹೌದಲ್ಲ ಥ್ರೂ ಔಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪೆನಿನ್ಸುಲಾ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ ಯು ದೇರ್ ವೇರ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಯು ನೋ ರಿಲೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಕಡೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ರೀತಿಯಾದಂತಹ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ನೋಡ್ತೀವಿ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ವೆನ್ ದೇರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಬಿಗ್ ಫಾಲ್ಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ವಾಸ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ವೆಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕೋಸ್ಟ್ ದೇರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸಬ್ಮರ್ಜೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ನೋ ದ ಜರ್ಕ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಫೆಲ್ಟ್ when we collided against the eurasian plate a part of your western you know plate vein aitu kustu bittu submerge agoitu submerge adaga ocean ina neeru adra melgade tumkondaga you know from your ocean side if you view okay so nimma ocean side inda neevu nodadaga hege kanutte anantadadre see this is your ocean side of the view from here if you are watching you will see this kind of you know land ina elevation nimge hege kanutte ಎತ್ತರದ ಒಂದು ಜಾಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ದಂಗೆ ಕಾಣುತ್ತೆ ಇಟ್ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ ಓಕೆ ಬಟ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಬ್ಮರ್ಜ್ ಅಂದ್ರದ್ದು ಓಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಬ್ಮರ್ಜೆನ್ಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಾಲ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ವೆಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮಾರ್ಜಿನ್ ವೇರ್ ಅ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ವೆಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸಬ್ಮರ್ಜ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಅರೇಬಿಯನ್ ಸಿ ಅರೇಬಿಯನ್ ಸಿ ಒಳಗಡೆಗೆ ಸಬ್ಮರ್ಜ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದು ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ Okay, right. In Mesozoic era, so
So what is hot spot announced that the formation or the you know coming out of lava out of a particular place is an uh, wherever there is a probability of uh, having a active volcano it is called as hot spot adana now hot spots anta karkolthivi okay frequent agi alli you know earthquakes or volcanic eruptions aagthade anantha adre these places are considered to be hot spots okay and we see there was a hot spot where the actual you know separation of madagascar took place led to the volcanic eruption in that particular area gave rise to the formation of your deccan lava plateau okay so deccan lava plateau agi idu form agutte okay and we also saw that around 15 million years ago if india segregated itself from madagascar it hadn't still you know uh, collided with eurasian plate yet okay on the contrary north side alli enaktittu there was convergence which was going on and on plus there was formation of deccan traps making sense deccan lava plateau alli form aagutide illi in the peninsular india making sense so simultaneous period okay contemporaries so illi convergence nadithide contemporary period alli inna converge aagilla now yet so therefore if i have to ask you which is more older himalayans or deccan plateau deccan plateau how the law making sense so therefore deccan plateau is much older than that of your you know himalayan how many years older 5 million years older around 5 million years older yakendandre convergence start agiddu around 10 million years ago making sense so therefore from there on the rise of your fold mountains started okay therefore your himalayas are the youngest okay how young are they around 8 million years ago so they you know actually our maximum peak anna nam nodantadu around 7 to 8 million years inda navu adara maximum maximum height anna nodutidivi and it is still growing a convergence inna continue aagthiru antadrinda the fold mountains are still growing that is why they are the youngest in world clear okay so we also see that in between whatever you know the convergence was occurring between your eurasian plate as well as the indian plate there was tethys sea okay therefore the tethys sea was also narrowing down because of the convergence okay the space between two of the plates was reducing therefore the narrowing of tethys sea was also seen narrowing aagutide antandre okay one the reason you know convergence jothege whatever the terrigenous deposits which were flown into this particular narrow space they were also increasing terrigenous deposit add aagtane ittu convergence jothege yakantandre gradienting ididdu athra bartta ididrinda okay the terrigenous deposits were also increasing rising up and up clear so now what happened the collision tertiary time alli collision actual collision nana nodtivi around tertiary period okay so collision between the indian plate and eurasian plate was observed and we also see the upliftment of himalayas finally so allinda start madkondo we now came down to the upliftment of himalayas clear so with the upliftment of himalayas as you can see here a narrow zone of your you know tethys sea and i will gamans idira okay can you see your tethys sea okay so it is getting narrowed and narrowed down okay narrow aakta 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 it reduced its size to a level that once it folded okay so convergence aada again aitu whatever the marine deposits athwa fossils any non marine fossils anna nodidvi okay those things were also lifted up okay illi kelavu things anna sulpa deeper finer uh, analysis analyze madbekagutt navu what are those deeper finer things see when there was this you know convergence which was occurring definitely when a part of the land is diverging from it hot spot aagabodalli what is hot spot a place where there is active earthquake athwa ond volcanic activity possibility idre hot spot don't you think whenever two huge of a, you know plates are converging don't you think there will be any hot spot uh, you know formation in between anusutha nimge convergence aagtide 